in this video, we'll see a problem on Venturi meter. For that, here is the question. A 300 mm into 150 mm Venturi meter is provided in a vertical pipeline carrying oil of specific gravity 0.9 flowing upward. The difference in elevation of the throat section and entrance section of the Venturi meter is 300 mm. The differential YouTube mercury manometer shows a gauge deflection of 250 mm. Calculate number one discharge of oil. Second pressure difference between entrance and throat section. So this is the question in front of us. Now whatever is given here I'll write the data accordingly. So here at first they have given the cross section which is 300 mm into 150 mm venturi meter the dimensions for it are given in this form so the first value that will be or the greater value will be indicating the diameter of pipeline or the diameter of the section of the venturi meter where it is connected to the pipeline and the smaller value is the throat diameter so i'll say 300 is d1 Accordingly, I'll get area 1. Answer of area 1 is that is 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square. Then the diameter 2 is 150 mm, which is 0 0.15 meter. So area 2 will come out to be. 17.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square so after that it is given is provided in a vertical pipeline carrying oil of specific gravity 0 0.9 so here the venturi meter is connected in a pipeline which contains an oil so that i'll write down that will be sf or specific gravity of the flowing fluid inside the pipe which is oil and it is given as 0 0.9 then I'll draw the diagram of the venturi meter and explain the remaining part there itself. So here I am drawing the diagram of the venturi meter and then I will explain what is given.
so now this is the venturi meter which is provided in the vertical pipeline as given in the question and that pipeline is carrying oil of specific gravity 0.9 so the flow of oil is upwards and here it is given so i'll say that this is the inlet of the oil oil in and here there is exit so this oil is out then the difference in elevation elevation means height of the throat section and entrance section means they have given this difference so at the entrance section and at the throat section the height is given So here, this is called as the entrance and either we take section 1 here or at the entrance, the diameter is same. So, I'll say that if this is also section 1, the same section, so this height is nothing but Z2 minus Z1 and that is given as 300 mm. So, it is 0 0.3 meter. Next, the differential YouTube mercury manometer. So, here the manometer is using the fluid as mercury shows a gauge deflection of 250 mm that gauge deflection is nothing but the height of mercury which is displaced which is x so therefore in this case x is equal to 250 mm or i can say 0 0.25 meters so here it is given calculate discharge of oil so the first question which i want the solution for is the discharge and that will be the actual discharge so here after that, the gauge deflection is given as 250 mm. So, that gauge deflection is X, which I have written. We have to calculate the discharge of oil, that is Q actual. Pressure difference between entrance and throat section. Pressure difference means P1 minus P2. CD coefficient of discharge is 0 0.98. So, this is the question in front of us. Now, I'll start with the solution part. At first, I'll start with since the actual discharge. Is given by. It is Q actual is equal to CD into Q theoretical. So therefore, the actual discharge will be CD into Q theoretical is given by A1 A2 root of 2GH upon root of area 1 square minus area 2 square first equation then here this h is the height we can say which is in the form of the liquid which is flowing in the pipeline here the liquid which is flowing is oil so i'll say that therefore H is equal to given by the formula X into SM upon S of oil minus 1 because in this formula since it is a mercury manometer we are going to write the specific gravity of mercury in the numerator upon the specific gravity of the fluid which is flowing in the pipeline here it is oil and X is the reading which is the gauge deflection given so therefore x it is 0 0.25 meters specific gravity of mercury 13.6 for oil it is 0 0.9 so therefore h is equal to 3.53 meter of oil so I have converted the gauge deflection 
given in the gauge in the form of gauge deflection of oil so it was given in the form of mercury now it has been converted into the form of oil next i can put all values in equation 1 to get q actual so for that Putting all values in equation 1. The coefficient of discharge which is given as 0 0.98. Area 1 we have calculated 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3. Area 2 it is 17.67. into 10 raised to minus 3 into root 2 gh so 2 into 9.81 into 3.53 upon root of area 1 square minus area 2 square so from this if i calculate i'll get the answer of actual discharge as 148.94 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second now to convert it into liters per second i'll multiply by 1000 so my answer is 148.94 liters per second that's the first answer then after that we also have to calculate here pressure difference and that pressure difference is in the formula of h so i'll say that here since h is also called as the difference in piezometric head so therefore the piezometric head of section 1 piezometric head is nothing but it is the addition of pressure head and the height so at section 1 it will be pressure head at section 1 which is p1 upon rho g plus height at section 1 that is z1 minus p2 upon rho g that is pressure head at section 2 plus z2 which is the height at section 2 now if the venturi meter is horizontal in that case z1 and z2 will be same so the difference will be zero but here since it is vertical the venturi meter is kept vertical so there is the elevation and it is given in the problem the difference between throat section and the inlet section z2 minus z1 is 0 0.3 meter so in that case I'll write it down as H is equal to P1 upon rho g. I'll bring P2 by rho g here minus P2 by rho g when I open the brackets and then it will be here it is plus Z1 and when I open the bracket so it will be Z1 minus Z2 but in the problem Z2 minus Z1 is given so at first it will be like this Z1 minus Z2 so therefore in the next form i can write p1 minus p2 with a common denominator and then when i want to write z2 minus z1 instead of plus it will be minus so therefore the value of h we already have 3.53 p1 minus p2 is what we have to calculate now rho g the density of oil its specific gravity is given to us the specific gravity is 0 0.9 so the density of oil will be 0 0.9 into 1000 which is the specific gravity of or which is the density of standard liquid which is water so it is 0 0.9 into 1000 
सो नाइन हंड्रेड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब सो दैट इज नाइन हंड्रेड इन टू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन एंड जेड टू माइनस जेड वन इज गिवेन एज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो नाउ इन दिस केस वेन आई पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज ओवर वन साइड आई गेट द आंसर ऑफ पी वन माइनस पी टू एंड हेन्स P1 minus P2 will come out to be 33.82 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square. Or dividing this by thousand, so I'll get the answer as 33.82 kilo pascal. That is the pressure difference. Second answer. and this one was the first answer so as we see look into the question there were two things asked actual discharge and pressure difference actual discharge is 148.94 liters per second already calculated the pressure difference 33.82 kilopascal and with this we complete the problem